Hello, they call me Mr. Don. I'm here to talk about a bandsaw wizard. What it is, is a, a lot of jigs to put on your bandsaw to make odd shaped items easy to cut. So pretty much what we have here in this box is a, a new table. And we slide this on the existing bandsaw table and adjust it. And now you have a foundation for a lot of other jigs that you could use for anything you can imagine. So let's begin by looking at what's inside the box. This is uh, a combination of 40 years of experience on a bandsaw. And I always made a specialty jig for this or that hanging on the wall. And all of a sudden now I have all these trophies on the wall. And I rarely use them again. So what I tried to come up with was uh, a system where you have a nice table you can cut circles on. Uh, you have other jigs that you can apply in T-tracks uh, and be able to cut odd shape items because odd shape items are very dangerous uh, to cut all by themselves without a support. So for those uh, weekend woodworker warriors, here's uh, the instructions that's uh, written semi-well. Um, for those who like to read, please read them because there's lots of information. For those who don't like to read, we did produce a lot of pictures. So if you follow it, um, you might be successful. Although I generally don't read instructions <laughs> until I make a mistake. So you're probably one of those persons. <laughs> anyway, this is a table and these are runners. Uh, the runners are going to run in your dado in your bandsaw table. I provided two. There's a little one that's under three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch wide because a lot of your dados aren't exactly three quarter inch. So slide this in your own bandsaw's dado and see if it runs loose and we'll show you that later. Once you take this apart there's a secondary table that actually is going to slide onto your bandsaw. <clears throat> the bandsaw blade comes into here. This is a T-track for T-nuts and bolts. Uh, so you can tighten a pivot point here and you can spin circles. Um, the other T-tracks are for other jigs and even if you don't have a fence, you can actually make your own fence and use this as a 90 degree offset you're going to be actually mounting your guide runner on the back side. So you're going to set this up where you'll put it on the bandsaw and it'll ride right in your own groove and be perpendicular and parallel to your blade. These tracks are for actually the angled clamps that will actually clamp to the underside of your own bandsaw table so you don't have any exposed clamps all the way around to clamp it to your table so it doesn't move. So everything is underneath, and now you have the full use of actually a larger table than your own bandsaw table. This particular size will fit any bandsaw between 12 inch and 18 inch. Uh, so this is a pretty much a universal table. Uh, for future use, there are holes and dowels for extensions, but we're just going to be talking about this table for now. Okay, these come with angle blocks or angle clamps. Basically, it's a piece of maple that has a 45 degree angle on it. And the idea is, is that you put your knob and your T-bolt in there and it slides right into the track on the underside. Now this is the back side of the table and you pretty much clamp them down. Now the idea is your bandsaw table will fit the edge. Now sometimes, you know, this angle on this pre-cut item is not quite perfect for your own table or your fence rail. So you can take and cut your own profile on your block. And that's why they're wood. So you can do anything you need to to get these to clamp to your own front edge of your table and the back edge of your table. Uh, that being said, you can leave them like a 45 degree if you like or not. So this has two on the out, outboard only because you're going to have a saw kerf actually where this line is uh, in this table. So basically, you're going to follow this line and, and cut into this and stop. And we'll show you how to do that later. 